Coach Colin here, coolest high performance coach in the world. And if you don't subscribe to this channel, you are a racist and a bigot. Let's get into it. <laughs> Joking, of course, but today we're talking about Jeremy Reamer, the gentleman, the goaltender on the San Jose Sharks, who decided that he was not going to wear a pride jersey during the warmups and got completely just, you know, as as you would expect, mauled on Twitter. Let's get into it real quick. Switch over here. Now, you'd think it was enough that he had the name Reamer. Don't you think? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but Jeremy Reamer, he, he's a goaltender. Let's just read up on it real quick. March 18th. They even have like the date and time, like as if it's like this crazy travesty. March 18th, 2023 at 4.53 p.m. San Jose Sharks goalie Jeremy Reamer won't take part in pregame warm-up Saturday night. They wouldn't even let him take part. Wow. Saying that it's the team's decision to wear pride-themed jerseys in support of the LGBTQ community runs counter to his religious beliefs. Well, he has the same religion as me. I don't take such stances, but I would, I guess, if somebody came to me and they were like, take off your shirt for me and put this one on. I'd be like, mm, no. I chose this shirt in the morning. That's a pretty big decision for me. So I'm not going to do that for you. But apparently, Jamie or Jeremy, sorry, this is what he had to say about it. Now, he, he didn't get all crazy about it. He, he wasn't really angry. He wasn't really forceful about it. He was actually pretty tame about the whole thing. Uh, he said in a statement Saturday that he made the decision based on his Christian beliefs, adding that he's always strived to treat everyone with respect and that members of the LGBT community should be welcomed in hockey. In a specific instance, I am in this specific specific. I got a lisp. Damn, you caught me. You caught me in my lisp. In this instance, I am choosing not to endorse something that is counter to my personal convictions, which are based on the Bible, the highest authority in life. So it seems pretty reasonable. He just doesn't want to put on a jersey. Then I found this tweet, which was so wild to me. Jesus was silent about LGBT. Okay. Jesus was silent about abortion. The one thing he was not silent about, question mark, loving one another, including your enemies. Jeremy Reamer is not a Christian. He is a hateful bigot. Absolutely crazy. This th picture this really quick. There is a stadium filled with people who are Christian. They're devoutly Christian and they're all wearing crosses. And one gentleman wants to just wear a pride jersey and they come to him and they say, hey, can you just take there's a lot of Christians in the crowd today. And we're just we're supporting Christianity today. Could you just take that off and just, you know, because it's counter to their beliefs. The guy wearing the pride jersey would be like, are you crazy? I'm not doing that. Why would I do that? I'm trying to support my community. Why can't I just, and everybody would be like, okay, you know, it'd be fine. Or maybe they'd throw them out of the game. Who knows? But either way, I think it would be crazy. Then, oh, that's a, <laughs> that's a different one. That's for another video. But yeah, this is what happened to him. That would be the same as if somebody came up to you and said, hey, will you kneel at this, uh, at this game during the anthem? Will you just kneel? for police brutality and you're like no they're just like you're racist that's it end of story you're choosing not to do something that i think you should do and therefore you are racist that's it and then to brand him is not a christian and believe you me i just wanted to make this a quick video there are many more tweets telling this guy that he is not christian that he is hateful that he does not support the lgbt community it's actually pretty pretty wild now where is the article that i had here here it is um so yeah he's the second player to do this the first player was this gentleman here choices my choice is to stay true to myself and my religion that's all i'm gonna say Any, uh, like I said, that's all I'm going to comment on that. Um, if you have any hockey questions, I would like I would answer those. Just, uh, can you just kind of find what religion? Hmm? Can you just kind of find your religion? Russian Orthodox. 
So this guy was Russian Orthodox. He chose not to believe. He chose not to support. He chose not to just put on a jersey. And the thing about it is this it's just a two hour warm up, right? It's just a warm up. It's not like it was for a full game. There's two arguments you can make. Why not just wear it for the two hours? And then the other, in my opinion, more sane argument is why it's just two hours. Like how much is this team? This company, at the end of the day, this is what they are, they're companies. How much do they need to virtue signal? They need to virtue signal that everybody on the team is wearing these jerseys, and if one person isn't, that makes the whole organization non-supportive of this community. It's absolutely crazy. It's like at what I said at the beginning, the joke I made. If you don't, like, did you subscribe to my channel? Are you white? You didn't subscribe. You're racist. Well, good, good to know where you stand, you know? It's absolutely ridiculous. This stuff is getting way out of hand when it comes to, and it's anything. It's not just that community. I would say the same thing if somebody said it about the black community. If they all had to wear black jerseys and one guy didn't want to, it's like, so what? Let him just have his beliefs. If he's walking in Christianity and he just doesn't want to wear that because it goes against his beliefs, we should respect that. If somebody, if somebody was on, if somebody was on a team and they had to wear something that was like towards like their Muslim faith. You wouldn't ask them to take it off. If it was just like a hat that didn't do anything and it was just underneath his helmet, you wouldn't be like, you got to take that off for me. You'd respect his religion. I don't understand why it's such a problem to respect religion. I'm just going to go back to that article again because they said something really wild in this article. Let me see if I can find it. As we promote these standards, we have also acknowledged and accept the rights of individuals to express themselves, including how or whether they choose to express their beliefs regardless of the cause or topic the team uh the statement made as an organization we feel or we will not waver in our support for the lgbtqia plus community they they missed the sl just so you know they're not so they're, there's an sl in there and they forgot it uh and we continue to encourage others to engage in active allyship. Religion and respect are not in conflict with each other. And we are certainly disappointed when religion is used as a reason to not support our community. <sighs> Wearing pride jerseys, like any celebration jersey worn, is not about the personal feelings of an athlete, rather the communication from the team that a community is welcome in the arena and the sport. How about when you buy the tickets, you're shown that you're able to be, you're, you're welcome. You know, like hockey is not really a, a black sport, but I know if I went and bought a ticket and went in there, I'd feel pretty welcome. I'd walk by security and say, here's my ticket. And they'd be like, have a great time. And that'd be it. <laughs> now, if they stopped me and they were like, hey, listen, buddy. It's not really your crowd. Then I'd have a problem. And I'd be like, what's going on in this arena? Right. But that's not what happens to people who are a part of the LGBTQ community. In fact, let's be real. Usually you don't even know you guys. Well, I mean, I mentioned that I have a wife, but I ne if I never mentioned that I had a wife on this channel, you guys wouldn't know my sexual orientation. You'd have no idea. And I don't know yours. And it doesn't matter. I, I just I, I just. It just gets out of hand, man. This type of stuff just gets out of hand. And I'm not some like wild Christian where I'm just like all Bible thumping and everything. It's like I pray every day and and I, I pretty much leave it at that. I go to church when I have the time, you know, occasionally, you know, I, I know my Christian friends will be, they don't like that. They want me to go more. But, you know, I don't know, man. Just let everybody have their beliefs. This guy's not all of a sudden a bigot. Imagine being branded as a hateful bigot because you didn't want to wear a shirt for two hours. Imagine that. You didn't want to kneel at, a, at, a, at an anthem for, for 10 minutes or however long it takes to sing the national anthem. You get branded as a bigot. The way that we throw these terms around nowadays is just ridiculous. And the reasons that we throw them around is just ridiculous. Like back in the day, you know, civil rights movement, you know, World War II, there, there was real hate going on. There was real stuff going on. There was real turmoil happening. 
And and now, and honestly, it's because things are so good that we just find it in anything, in anything that's happening. I'll, I'll say it again. A guy didn't want to wear a shirt for two hours and he got branded as a bigot. He wasn't even allowed to participate in the warm-up. Who knows how this will reflect on him getting signed again to the team? Like, how deep does this go? It's nuts. There's so many... There's bigger fish to fry. There's more guys in the world saying absolutely hateful, wild things that you could point to. But instead, you decide to point to the one guy on a team of so many people, on an organization of so many people, one guy that says, I don't want to wear that thing, if you don't mind. You know? And all of a sudden, he's just a bigot. If somebody came to me right now and they were like, hey, we really would appreciate it if you just wore a yarmulke. You know, could you wear a kippah in support of the Jewish community? I'd be like, I love Jewish people, but man, I'm not wearing a kippah. You're not making me do that, okay? (laughs) I'm just, I'm not doing it. That's like my wife comes in here right now. She's like, honey, in support of me, I want you to wear this dress. I'd be like, no, honey, I love you, but get out. I'm recording, please. (laughs) But that's all. I just wanted to update you guys on the wildness of the world. And I will say I definitely stand in support of James. Oh, James. I've been saying Jeremy. My bad. My apologies. James Reamer. I definitely stand in support of him not having to wear a shirt for two hours. I mean, he has, again, he has the name Reamer already. He's good. He's good, no? (laughs) Kidding, kidding. All right, guys, I'm out.